Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from M1News.com yet again with another video. The same day, within hours, oh my god. So, again, everybody that knows me knows by now that I was never a Sonny Gray fan. Matter of fact, back in July, I wrote plenty of articles saying, what are you doing? Do not get Sonny Gray. Hey, put your money, if you want to get a picture, put your money where your mouth is and get a Verlander. I specifically said in those articles, whatever team in contention gets Verlander, they will win the World Series. Everybody knows a power pitcher that has just filthy all-speed stuff that can just trick players come playoff time will be a deadly weapon. And we all saw how Verlander carried the Houston Astros to a World Series title, literally. So, this reporter from Oakland, California, Julian McWilliams, that's an interesting name. He says he's a baseball guy born and raised in Harlem, NYC former professional independent ball legend, in my eyes, a A's beats writer. So, he writes for the Oakland A's. And he said this, he says, Bean says he's friends with the Yanks GM Brian Cashman. And after he made Sonny Gray trade, Cashman's been trying to get those players back. Bean says that's how he knows he has the right guys. Well, duh, Sonny Gray is never going to be an ace for the New York Yankees. He is literally the fourth or third pitcher on the New York Yankees. He does not have dominant stuff. He literally puts players to sleep, not the batters, literally the players playing defense behind them. And everybody keeps saying, oh, he doesn't get run support. Oh, duh, because his team is half asleep. Like I keep saying, that trade for Sonny Gray did not work for the New York Yankees, and it's never going to work. New York Yankees fans, just a week ago, I said, hey, Brian Cashman made a mistake going after Sonny Gray. And even James Kaprilian, he saw my Twitter and he liked my tweet. But no, you're going to get your typical Yankee fans that swear they know baseball and swear they know this and that. Hey, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but you can't say I played baseball since little, since literally a baby. So oh, I could say I know what I'm talking about. So yes, in my tweet, I said something like this. I said, James Kaprilian, even his name sounds like a baseball player's name. His demeanor, he has the look of a baseball player, and it was a mistake for the Yankees to trade him, even though he was injured. And James Caprillion saw that he liked my tweet, but then I got all the so-called Yankees experts bash me and say, oh, Sonny Gray is the man, this and that. And look, like I said, I'm not a bandwagoner. I say stuff that other people don't say. When I say something, a lot of people get triggered. But down the line, like this Cashman thing now, Cashman has admitted to making a mistake, which is very rare. He is realizing that Sonny Gray is just like getting maybe a Jaime Garcia, yeah, or maybe better than him. He is going to have the same impact of obtaining a fifth or fourth starter in your rotation. He's not going to be that effective. He is not going to win more than 13 or 14 games for you. He's going to put your team to sleep. If the Yankees were smart, realizing now that the A's pulled a robbery, and now Cashman knows this, get rid of Sonny Gray. Try to cut your losses. I would love a Patrick Corbin, even if it's for a year. And Sonny Gray in the National League wouldn't be that bad. If the Diamondbacks were to, let's say, make a deal with the Yankees, I would ask for Sonny Gray. He's under control for maybe two more years or something like that. And Corbin is a free agent in 2019. So, yeah, if the Diamondbacks want a controllable pitcher for two more years, they would make that deal with the Yankees. And the Yankees would get a legit left-handed pitcher in their rotation that has one of the sickest sliders in the game. And like I said, in 2019, the Yankees are going to have more money to sign more players because let's say it has something to do with the uh, tax luxury that 
they can go over or whatever and it's going to be cheaper to go over or something like that so they're going to really overdo it in 2019 so yeah cashman has admitted that sunny gray the sunny gray trade was a ripoff people keep saying that jorge mateo and james caprillion and fowler are trash now that they're not yankees but james caprillion that guy is gonna end up hurting the yankees down the line i mean like i said in my previous tweets over a week ago when all the yankee fans were bashing me i said hey if one organization is gonna make you look bad for trading away a young stud of them it's going to be the oakland athletics and yeah cashman is going to look really bad when this deal has time to evaluate itself because sunny gray like i said sunny gray does not have dominant stuff and in the AL East and American League in general, this four down the line in his career, he's getting up there in age. Like his velocity isn't there no more. So he's just going to get rocked. And we remember all the great pictures the A's had in the early 2000s. That's exactly what James Kerprillian is going to become. He's going to be a part of that young group of major league pictures like Fulmer, Signagard, etc those power pitchers that the yankees just are gonna miss out of because they decided to trade him when he was injured which sounds pretty messed up too when you think about it this guy literally uh, wanted to be a yankee and when he liked my tweet i could sense it that he was heartbroken still by getting traded away from the yankees so yeah yankees fans that are fans of uh sunny gray keep drinking that kool-aid man like i saw the writing on the wall. Oh, Sonny Gray's going to be God in New York. Oh, the ace is finally here. No, the guy is 5'10". Okay. He, he barely has velocity. We're not talking about a midget like uh, Strowman. I'm not trying to bash him for his height, but really, I mean, if he doesn't have the height, he has to have the velocity at least, or, or maybe not put his team have to sleep. So yeah, there you go. Cashman admits defeat on that trade. It's going to come and bite the Yankees in their ass, period, because James Caprillion, just listen to that name. That's a baseball player's name right there. And just look at him, his demeanor, his swagger, his look. He looks like a baseball player. So, yep, yet again, this has been Felix from LYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.